on this episode of the Realmatic podcast. Uh, my friend they text me and they're like, "Yo, they killed the most unproblematic Nico." Like, I don't know everything my man was doing in life, you know what I mean? But yeah. that's one of the dudes who was just like, "Oh yeah, he here, he rap, he in the back." Like, bro, how much you really know? Everyone else is in the spotlight and being seen and all that. This, this is just like, bro, what? Man, I ain't even gonna care, bro. I'm tired of hearing that shit, bro. I'm tired of hearing people say, oh, you know, he's quiet. He wasn't doing, I'm tired of hearing that. Like, y'all missing the point. That's not the point. The point is, we don't care about each other. We hate each other. We don't see the value in each other. Like, bro, how many rappers are we finna lose, bro? Like, we yeah. keep losing rappers. Like, y'all niggas do not give a fuck about each other. They're going to blast this shit on CNN and all the fucking networks. Oh, look at these black people. Y'all showing niggas that we are slaves again. That's what y'all showing people. Y'all showing people that we don't know how to handle freedom. Because, goddamn, every time somebody makes some money, y'all got a fucking bounty on their head. Like, what are you killing this man for? Cause y'all lost a couple thousand dollars. Yeah, you gonna like, make bro, right back tomorrow? Exactly. And now you finna go to jail. Like the culture is so fucked up, bro. This culture is trash, man. Real Matic Podcast. I just want to say something really quick, and yes. I'm gonna try not to give out my identity. Um, we were all there when okay. all this happened. I just left from HPD. First of all, in order to be around jazz print, you have to be searched. None of us had guns, but jazz, but jazz people had guns. Okay, all of this about this was over a dice game. This shit started in Fifth Ward around 9 30 10 last night. So oh. this had nothing to do with no damn dice game, with no money situation, or anything like that. And the only reason why I'm not going to great details because I live in Houston and the Prince family know. Me. But all of this shit that they're saying about, oh, well, this was a sacrifice. No, this was an argument between two camps. And it wasn't even between two camps because Takeoff and Quavo was basically trying to be the mediator between the people who were arguing. Oh, so, shit. And so... Everybody's saying, oh, well, this is Quavo fault. Quavo had nothing to do with the shit y'all talking about, bro. Y'all was not there when this happened. It, it, it had nothing to do with that. So all these 30 second videos that they're seeing, this and that, everybody's saying, well, he didn't act the way how he act whenever um uh takeoff got shot. Did, did they tell you he passed the fuck out? Did they tell you we had to help him to the fucking car? Did they tell you that? Like nobody is 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 really talking about the real that's going on. But I'm gonna tell you this and I'll leave it at that. The only people who had firearms that night was the camp who protect jazz. That's all I'm going to say. Thank you. I don't want to talk about it. I ain't going to lie to you. Man. Oh, you got to talk about it. It's like, fuck. Bruh, today is a hard day in the world, the black community, the hip hop community. It just don't even feel real, bro. No. Like, take off from the Migos has been shot and killed. I don't know if I'm the only one here, but in my mind, the Migos all just felt, in a sense, like, untouchable. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, we've grown up really listening. Like, that's like a trio or a group that you're like, oh yeah, they're gonna be old and what well, you know what I mean. One day we're just gonna remember this, all these things, their beef, their breakups, their stuff. But like, Ben broke the news to me, and like at first I was like, oh, what are you talking about? It didn't even look right, bro. It just didn't look right. <clears throat> and I'm getting off my shift, and I'm just like. I see the TMZ. I I really wanted to cry, Loki, because it was just like, yo. Bro, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Yeah, y'all fucked my morning up. I ain't gonna lie to you. I woke it up. It threw I my whole morning up. off. 
Because that fuck like, bro. Bro. I should, I was taking like, text, bro. That shit fucked me up. In my head, yo, it's, I was up at the time when my boy got killed. Like, I'm, I'm like, 3 a.m., 2 a.m., whatever it is. It was just like, yo, what? Over some senselessness, bro. Bro, y'all rich. You know what I mean? Like, you're doing stuff that's just like, why? And and it's so, it sucks that no body is learning. Like, it, it literally is like, yo, how many gotta die, bro? Over senseless gun violence or just just stupidity in in our community, bro. This shit's sad, bro. Oh, and like I, my friend that texts me and they're like, "Yo, they killed the most unproblematic Miko." Like I don't know everything my man was doing in life, you know what I mean? But yeah. That's one of the dudes who was just like, oh, yeah, he here, he rap, he in the back. Like, bro, how much you really know? Everyone else is in the spotlight and being seen and all that. This? This is just like, bro, what? Man, I ain't even going to care, bro. I'm tired of hearing that shit, bro. I'm tired of hearing people say, oh, you know, he's quiet. He wasn't doing. I'm tired of hearing that. Like, y'all missing the point. That's not the point. The point is we don't care about each other. Yeah. We hate each other. We don't see the value in each other. Like, bro, how many rappers are we finna lose, bro? Like, we yeah. keep losing rappers. Like, y'all niggas do not give a fuck about each other. They're gonna blast this shit on CNN and all the fucking networks. Oh, look at these black people. Y'all showing niggas that we are slaves again. That's what y'all showing people. Y'all showing people that we don't know how to handle freedom. Because goddamn, every time somebody makes some money, y'all got a fucking bounty on their head. Like, what are you killing this man for? Because y'all lost a couple thousand dollars? Yeah, you're going like, to make right back tomorrow. Exactly. And now you finna go to jail. Like, the culture is so fucked up, bro. This culture is trash, man. People die, and then we have weird ways of justifying their deaths. And people saying, oh, you know, he was the most unproblematic. It doesn't matter, bro. It doesn't matter if he was problematic. Mm -hmm. Y'all shouldn't be killing each other, period, bro. Y'all act like y'all don't have mouths to speak. Y'all act like y'all can't apologize to each other. Like, y'all just got to pull out a gun. Mm -hmm. This shit is fucking ridiculous, bro. I'm seeing people talk about how they... They don't even want to go to black functions no more. If it's too many black people, they don't want to be there. That's our own people talking about us. Like, this shit is ridiculous, bro. Yeah. How many times do we had to get up here? I want to talk about some fun shit. I don't want to talk about niggas dying all the time. Yeah, this shit is getting fucking annoying. And it be over nothing. Mm-hmm. It don't even be over some real shit. Like, niggas just be getting killed. And I was telling somebody else, yeah, it's happening to celebrities, but this shit been going on in the hood for God knows when. Yeah, People been dying over senseless shit. It's always on the news. Somebody died because of a disagreement at Walmart. You know, somebody died because, you know, they didn't get the right food. Like, it's fucking crazy. Yeah. And we doing what racism taught us to do. Racism taught us to hate each other. Racism taught us to kill each other. And we're doing it. We're literally doing it. I don't understand mentally where y'all at. Mm -hmm. Y'all not, bro, y'all not with me mentally. Period. I don't know where y'all niggas at. Because at this point, like, I feel like I'm beating a dead horse. But at this point, it's just like, bro. We got to stop killing each other. Why is this a, why am I even having to say that? Like, that's common sense, bro. That's common sense. So we just lost another rapper. Just like that. That's so sad, bro. That shit, that shit crazy, bro. I want to clarify. I swear, him being the most unproblematic does not mean, oh yeah, 
you shouldn't be shooting him. You shouldn't be shooting anybody. It's just like, I just can't stress enough, bro. It just always felt like they were untouchable. Like, they were just locked in and saved for, all right, this is them. This is their time. But now it's like, anybody. Mm. Oh, y'all. Y'all's wild out here. What? A little clout, bro? To say you did it? But they don't understand what's the ramifications of this, bro. They don't understand how this affects us. They don't understand how this affects niggas that's not doing that shit. Like, the media is portraying us a certain way every time mm-hmm. we kill each other, bro. Yeah, man. Like, God damn, bro. Like, a nigga trying to live a good life. They, y'all making it harder for us. Y'all yeah. making it harder for everybody in the room, my nigga. Like, like in the, even in the bigger sense of things, right? Even if it wasn't takeoff, you still were gonna kill somebody in this in this situation because he it wasn't he wasn't the, the aimed target in a sense. It was like all the stuff going on and it happened. But the one thing you gotta know is it wasn't even like the other niggas that shot him. Like it was somebody in his crew, yeah, that shot him, and it was just straight. And I think that's the part about this whole shit that's kind of fucked up because it was just like you ain't have to do that shit. It wasn't even fucking worth it in the end. And then, like, the hard part, when you're trying to be on social media and avoid seeing the comments, seeing the videos, I didn't see the video. I mean, I'm not going to lie to you. Like, it's fucked up. It's really fucked up. That's, like, the last visual you'll get of a person. Like, anybody recording that you a bitch, you a pussy, you whatever, because it's like, that. Like why you want to record that? It don't get you no clout. It don't help you in the future. It don't do nothing for you. But you want to put this last per- this last dying moments on camera. That shit is weird, bro. That shit is weird. It's disgusting, bro. It's disgusting. Shit. It's disgusting. It's like, bro, this is somebody's son. This is somebody's Shit. father. Somebody's brother. You know, somebody's Literally. child. Nephew. And it's just like, y'all just watching him take his last breaths. Mm-hmm. Like, God damn, bro. Like, I, I just, I don't know, man. Like, I don't know, man. I feel bad for our it's people. A- it's a hard thing because in our culture, like it's just it just man, everything that's been going on with the Migos and all that stuff, it was like, oh yeah, this is happening. You know what I mean? That's the worst. We just dropped. We just dropped a project. Unconfew, uh, only built for Infinity Links. You know what I mean? And it's like, okay, we about to enter into like a whole new era of what they're doing. Uh, cool. We wait, you know, take off. I'm like, I don't want to bring it back to music and thoughts of that, but it's like, what do y'all think now? You know what I mean? Y'all is beefing over some money. Y'all had problems over money on drink champs. Like, oh yeah, if the money good, we'll get we'll we'll, we'll get back together. Like. Y'all been doing y'all press runs. Y'all been talking about kind of what's been going on. Now, all this stuff can't be undone now. You know, y'all can't reform the Migos. Y'all can't make up and be like, "Hey, yo, I was in, I was in my pockets. I was in, I was in too deep. I wasn't thinking." You know what I mean? Y'all can't just like be y'all family. Truly, they all family. So it's like y'all can't even like fix that now. Now y'all missing a whole dude over some y'all playing some dice. Come on, bro. And then it's like, bro, y'all be quick to protest when they kill us, when the cops kill us and shit. But when it's time, it's like this. Y'all don't want to protest. It's like y'all got to pick a side, man. Y'all got to be consistent. Why are y'all y'all glorifying this shit, man? This shit is sensationalized, bro. This shit is drama for people. Like that's somebody' life. Yeah, we sitting up here, like I'm about to be watching videos and niggas talking about how they love the music and all the man. Like I'm not trying to hear none of that shit, bro. Shit. Like it's just, uh, it's sad, bro. It is so sad. Bro. <laughs> sad, bro. Bro, he's 28, bro. 28, bro. I didn't even know he was 28, bro. 
I didn't even know that. Like, the, I saw it 28. It was like, bro. Bro, he's still, like, same around our age. Mm-hmm. He ain't even cracked 30, bro. Like, it, it puts it more into perspective in that sense. It's like, damn. We can't even make it to 30 and make him past 25. You know what I mean? It's like, yo, mm-hmm. what are we? Bro, the and life like, expectancy, I... bro. The life expectancy of these rappers is going down, bro. Shit going Listen, down. It's a blessing to make a rapper. For real, bro. Because, like, what do, we, what do we, what do we, what do we, what do we even do? Like, it and just brings do... into those questions of, like, what's next? Mm-hmm. But you can't really do nothing. You think oh, it's the culture, like as fucked up as it is, that's this is even, what that the shouldn't even be the answer. Mm-hmm. But it's but I'm, but I'm saying it's like as much as we can like say and try to find solution and do this and do that, bro. It, this has happened like over twenty times, bro. We, and we always do the same thing as a culture. Every time this shit happens, we be grieving. We be saying, "Oh, do this, do that." We be hoping for the best, but bro. The street is gonna always win, unfortunately. Like in, in many scenarios, it's just it's like the same fucked up story. It's the same fucked up story. The streets ain't fair. And they don't give a fuck who you is to the biggest rapper, to the, the to the basic rapper, they kill you. You know, it like it, and it's not fair. But this is the reality of what the world is. Like all we could do is just keep pushing that narrative, man. That we need to recreate our culture. That's all we can do. Because People are dying over blocks that they don't even own. What like, let that? that shit sink in, bro. Like, you dying over some shit that you don't even own, bro. Yeah. You dying over some shit that five years later won't even exist anymore. It's going to be gentrified. Like, bro, like, y'all niggas is so behind, bro. I swear. Like, why are we still doing this shit? Like, I'm like, why aren't you holding yourself to a higher standard, man? Exactly, bro. After after you get the money and you do all these things and you've talked your shit, bro, I don't understand why we're not trying to like. I think I was talking to um talking to some of my coworkers about black people getting money, all right. So in basketball, black people get money. What they do, shoe deals, commercials, big things like that, right? Yeah. Football, you don't know too much about everything that football players are doing, but you know they got money. And if they're black, they're going to flaunt it, right? Yeah. Tom Brady, what Tom Brady got money, right? We all know this. What do you know that Tom Brady does? Other than football, it's because he gets his money and he's putting it and doing other things with it and not flaunting it and being like how all black folk are. They, they, they move in it and they doing it differently. Mm-hmm. And you're holding yourself to a higher standard because you're like, yo, I'm doing this. I'm building something for myself. And all that Migo gang, hey, yo, we, we together, this famo, this whatever. We, I'm here for my mom and my uncle. And it's like, yo, if you're all deep into that, way of thinking in life you gotta move accordingly you you can't be just out here doing stuff and you gotta put that shit into perspective bro like come on what you doing out at 2 30 in the morning yeah you're a rapper or whatever 2 30 in the morning slinging dice in in, a, in some private club at like some bowling alley or whatever bro put that shit into perspective bro you know y'all mm. got money y'all gonna get music it's like the mentality is not there, bro. Uh, mentality not. is not there, man. Our it culture, our culture is trash, man. This shit trash. It's breeding killers. It's breeding people that don't know what to do with their money, man. Like we are the only people on this planet that will get money just to show it off. That's not the purpose of money, man. That's not what it's about. It's about leaving something for your kids. That's all it's about. That's all this shit is about. All this working, it's just so you can have something for your kids, bro. It's not for you to flaunt and throw it in people's face, bro. Like, shit said. Yeah, man. I'm like, RP, man. Rest in peace. RP. Definitely, man. Um, the 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 rap game ain't gonna be the same. Never with will. A, with with a whole 
missing member. I was okay, you know what I mean, with okay, yeah, they broke up. But mm-hmm. y'all was here. Yeah. And we knew where, who they were. But now it's just the game ain't going to be the same, man. It's just going to feel so different, bro. Mm-hmm. It's just not going to feel right. Rest in peace, man. Yeah, man. <sighs> All right, man. Moving on. So we got Kanye West. You know, Kanye West, in the past month, he has lost several business ventures. Uh, Balenciaga part ways. JP Morgan ended his account. Def Jam ended his contract. He lost the billionaire status after Adidas separation. Uh, Skechers turned him away, which was kind of funny. <laughs> they thought that nigga was a damn gardener when he pulled up. Okay. Um, Donda Academy is closed for the remainder of the year. Uh, what do you guys think about that, man? What's going on with Kanye? Um, I I got a um a belief in this. I think that okay. he, I think he's, a, I think he's imploding. I think mm. that he was going through a lot of different conf- conflicts in his life that he didn't know how to deal with, and I felt like a lot of people around him took advantage of him and his weak mind and his weak nature. I don't think the man's right in his head. I don't think he takes his medication. I don't think he's. I don't think he's doing the right shit for himself. Cause I just feel like every time somebody interview him, and you realize in the last like two months, so many people want this nigga to sit down with them and talk, and it's like Bro, some everybody. Shit. Every- Everybody, and, it, and that's the problem. Mm-hmm. You know this nigga's why. You can watch the interview, and he's like his his. He be a whole different person every single interview. You can see his spectrum changing, and I and I get it. At a point, he's interesting. He's Kanye West. He's this and he's that. But bro, you can clearly see this man has problems. Mm-hmm. And I felt like at a point, the wrong people got around him. People like Candace Owens and shit like that. I felt like they infected him, and they. I felt like you empowered thoughts that didn't make no damn sense he didn't have like his homies and he had niggas in his life telling him to shut the fuck up or telling him hey that's how that sounds dumb as fuck yeah that shit all the niggas that that they would have told him that shit you can see even for the documentary he left all them niggas behind so at this point it's kind of like man the man's imploding bro the man's imploding whether his ideas are meant to be rational or meant to be helpful or meant to be this and that he's gonna misinterpret the shit every time and you could tell he just not, he ain't doing well. And as a black person, that's hard to see. Like we're celebrating like literally the removal of a black man. But then mm-hmm. parallel that to like Kyrie Irving and what Kyrie Irving going through right now. And he just reposted a fucking video basically saying the same thing of the blacks being the Jews. Yeah, the real Jews. We're gonna get into that. Not yeah. rushing the point, but it's just like I don't know shit out here why dog. Man. Kanye is an interesting guy. An interesting fellow. You know he has an event at Morehouse College this week? Huh? Bro. Yeah. He has a whole event at Morehouse College this week where you have to wear all black and you got to pay. The, the ticket range is from five to $500. To come out here and be a part of whatever Kanye is about to do. I had this conversation. I was talking about this last night. And I was like, I'm not with this Kanye thing where he'd be like, he'll talk all this mess about black people or he will not help out the community. But then when everybody shut him out, he's like, oh, I got to go back to my people because I got to go make some money again. I hate that, shit, bro. I hate it because it's like, when are we going to put our foot down? You see that everybody else put their foot down. Yo, tell Kanye to get out of here and go go sit down and handle what you need to handle on your end. Don't come to us because you need a little extra money to do that. In the same sense, I, I was told, I was like, yo, black folk don't want to like see their other, see their, they want to see each other win, but they don't want to help you win. Right. And. I'm like, Kanye has already won. He's done everything that he needed to do. So I don't see a point in being like, yo, we don't want to stand with that. And I think everybody's in it right now for the clout. And like how you said, everybody want to interview Kanye. I don't even know what Kanye interview to watch anymore. I don't. Because y'all all you're doing all these interviews and he says all these different things. I don't even know There's what at least to take in. You know what I mean? 
What am I even supposed to be looking for now? The dude said 85 different things and nobody really can decipher what it is. Now I got everybody using anti-Semitism. We're like, all right, you know, oh, I don't know. What do you think about that? What do you think about the fact that, you know, he said what he said about the Jews and that's pretty much what started the downward spiral? Okay, let's be honest about this, right? Were y'all like a thousand percent listen to the things that he was saying it was, it was like somewhat offended by what he said or like did you understand like how could people get offended by it bro Honestly, i truly. watch i watch south me. Park. <laughs> i watch south park like every day right I watch south park every day yeah do you know how many jewish jokes and real crazy jew moments happen in that show <laughs> you'd be like yeah. yo anybody else hearing this talking terrible about the jewish they people never cancel south park but y'all ain't gonna cancel South Park. Mm. Like, bro, the stuff I've heard in that show is Not 10 yet. times worse. Bro, that show been, no, on, bro. been on for 30 years. That shit on 20 years, years bro. Like, trust me, they were gonna bro. bring that out of them, bro. When they gonna they start they know about them. Bro, they know about them, boy. Kanye, they, they did an episode with Kanye in it. Like, it's, it's a thing. But outside of that, what Kanye said is... There are bigger meanings to everything in that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yes, the Jews run the world and there are they have a lot of control over the things that we do and or the institutions that we're involved in. I just I just I feel like the Jews showed their cards. Yes. They're showing themselves and they show, they came out the shadows and said, All right, Kanye, let's go ahead and show you what we really can do because the other folk can't do it. And I don't think, in a sense, I don't feel that Kanye is hurt by the situation, not at all, because he because he has this, he has a knack for bouncing back from this type of stuff. Hmm. And I feel like maybe in a sense he broke his chains and got out of this, and he's on the loose for him. Yeah, like everything he does affects Kim too, so it's like. Are you doing this to affect her? Fuck him. Did he said it again? (laughs) (laughs) Oh yeah, nigga. Fuck him. (laughs) Oh yeah. (laughs) I was telling somebody else. I was like, man, Kanye's right. He's Mm. just he's just not clever. He's saying it wrong. (laughs) He's just not clever. Like he looks like like, let's keep it it a bad stat, bro. He ain't say it like he said yeah. crazy shit, but he ain't say it like how like how how everybody's interpreting it. The way I took it, it just don't it don't hit the same. And maybe because I'm not a Jewish person, I mean I can't culturally relate to the things that he's saying. But niggas say I want to go DefCon five with some Jewish people. I don't even know what the fuck DefCon means, bro. I had to Google that shit, and I and I still am not really fully understanding about what the hell he meant. Like I just personally believe that. You're talking about a community who do have a lot of influence in the world and power in the world. And I just feel like, yeah, it's like the Asian people. I feel like you just said the same shit about Asians. You might, this might be the same, a similar type of situation. Probably not this level, but it'd be a similar type of reaction. It's like people don't want to get talked about. Only time, pe- only time people can accept being talked about is niggas. But even then, that's like that's a given. You know what I'm saying? Like, because the white people would, would be the same as that shit. Like, and it's weird, bro. Y'all interviewing this man. Y'all want this man to say dumb shit. Y'all, y'all empowering him to say dumb shit. And y'all know this nigga is mentally sick, bro. Come on. Like, Jewish people, I get it. But y'all gotta relax. Just, 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 just a tiny bit. Tiny they bit. don't play, bro. Don't, they don't, they don't gotta like, relax, like, I know, I, They don't gotta like, relax. They don't play with the image, bro. Yeah, they, they don't, don't play. play. We need to be said, on the same bro. shit, bro. We I need to be on the same said, shit. Bro. I'm just, I know he said, bro, but y'all not taking away all these other nasty niggas out here. Y'all, y'all not stripping all their financial resources away. Because they not fucking with them, bro. I'm just saying, bro. Hey, not fucking Damn, with them. Yeah. Damn, yeah. <laughs> bro, slavery, is, like, slavery fuck, is a man. choice, bro. Got like, away with like, it. Scared, what I'm this showed us, bro, bro, is don't fuck with the Jews, bro. bro man, you think, I know you saw the video. Huh? Man, I know you saw the video of the Jewish people. They at the recent next game, they bought the whole front row and they were sitting there. To, with yes, the shirt that said, bro. Stop. And, like, and his thing, I was, I'm gonna say this once more. 
it's nothing wrong with what you're doing if with because I, I can tell y'all doing it with the right intentions but you have to like it, it wasn't meant the way it was meant bro i just feel like if i'm a black person and i believe that we're the true the true the true beings the first people here the true like god's children mm -hmm. i mean I'm, that's my my belief and that's my opinion let that be my opinion, you know what I'm saying? But you, but don't think I'm be, I'm being a racist or some shit like that because I just what, what my belief is. The problem I'm getting, bro, is the fact that Kanye has great ideas, but he doesn't know how to execute his ideas. Mm. If you're gonna say something like this, make sure you're ready for the, the drawback. He was he not was like, ready. Oh, he, he was didn't ready. Have he was no, like, ooh, where, where your army at that you be talking about? Where your army at, nigga? Because it ain't black people. Yeah, nah. Black people ain't fucking with you, bro. Not after what you've been saying, bro. So where is this army that you speak of? It's the one that's going to be at more house. I bro. fuck with... It, uh, <laughs> I fuck with Kanye, man, because it's like he is his visionary. Yeah. And at this point, yes, he is a genius. Anytime you're a black man and you touch a billion dollars, you a genius, bro. I got to give it to you, bro. Because niggas ain't doing that out here. Voice of a generation. You no, know, for real. He is, but it's like, what was the point of all this? And people keep saying, oh, well, he meant to do that so he can get out of his contract. I know the fuck he didn't, bro. Stop it. He ain't meant to do all this. Shut the he, fuck he up. He didn't pee, bro. He, <laughs> you know how, like, you get in a rant and you, like, start saying stuff? And yeah, like, bro. God damn. Like, he was, he was a long mm. rant. He just did something. Ain't nobody mean to get oh, out of six hundred million dollars, bro. Ain't nobody mm. doing that like, shit, bro. Y'all got to stop. He that, didn't want to lose Adidas, bro. He was talking shit to Adidas, but he wasn't trying to lose Adidas. Money yeah, like he that, wasn't bro. trying to lose them niggas. Yeah, nah, just... Adidas, Adidas was like, "Hey, yo, damn it." I did. I think Adidas was trying to hold on too. They was like, "Please don't do it, bro. Please." Yeah, I they wish fun, we would man. band together, like how the Jews do, man. Them Jews don't play you know games, bro. Them niggas got him. Zipped bro, up that, real quick, bro. bro. That junk was literally bro, bro, we don't 24 hours, bro. 48 yes. hours. Yes. After 48 hours, they were shutting that all down. his contracts. Yeah, bro. All his like contracts, bro. Paying them, getting them out of them. Man. And it's know. like I understand he wants to be the leader so bad. I, I get it, but he's not yeah. that guy. Kanye, you're not that guy. I can't. Personally, me just being me, I cannot stand behind Kanye because of what he does, man. He's too inconsistent for me. Mm -hmm. But he needs to be one of the guys. He can't be the guy, but he can be one of them. He needs to he, form a coalition. He can't allow for himself to be one of them. He like, has that's, to the be problem, that that's the problem, bro. That's the problem. That's the problem. He don't want to be a follower, man. Like, do you understand? That's the problem, bro. If Kanye had a group of people... If he let's let's say he was cool with Diddy, cool with Jay, cool with these people, and was able to work these ideas out, everybody be like, "All right, yeah, bet, man, let's go make some money. Let's go make some money, bro." Because because it's not that his ideas are terrible; it's just you just be executing and throwing stuff out, half baked stuff, and then hoping and that then move bite on. on, and then run away from it after it's done. Like, bro, all yeah. I need, all, all I need from you. Is to have some people in your corner to talk to before you go to these places and say it. Because I mean, like, have you ever asked the question, why don't he just start his own clothing brand and just, you know, create his own manufacturing company? Why are you still partnering with these white people? He could that, care about that, bro. Watch what's gonna happen now. That man he should have been did that a long time ago. He should have did that when Sway started getting at his ass, bro. Nah, bro. So, he got Sway the, had the answer. Sway had the answers, bro. Sway had the answers a long time ago, bro. He should have been did that shit. How, Sway? How the fuck you gonna get into a contract with somebody and then get mad at the details of the contract? Like he ain't been in that contract contract for years. Exactly, bro. With Def Jam and shit. Like, come on, bro. You know how this shit work? You know they want to cut? Nah, like, bro. He want, he wants all his money, bro. This man finally apologized, bro. So let's get into Wait, it. Don't matter, bro. What I want to say is like black people are like, okay, Lex Friedman got you to apologize. Uh, Pierce Morgan got you to apologize to the Jews, but you never apologized to us about the George Floyd comment that made us feel bad. When, uh, let me say it until the sound bite is better for you guys. When the idea of Black Lives Matter came out, it made us come together as a people. Now afterwards, there was some 
uh, there were some things where the money went. There were some things where it was used in order to push us to the Democratic vote. There were people right. behind and involved. That happened. But the general feeling. So when I said that and I and I and I questioned the death of George Floyd, it hurt my people. It hurt the black people. So I want to apologize to hurting them because right now God has shown me by what Adidas is doing and by what by what the media is doing. I know how it feels to have a knee on my neck now. So I thank you, God, for humbling me and letting me know how it really felt. Because how could the richest black man ever be humbled other than to be made to not be a billionaire in front of everyone off of one comment? That actually, if you look at the definition of DEF CON, it means to get extra defense, which obviously I must have needed. <laughs> the ending though <laughs> yeah. like bro it was going so good it was going so decent <laughs> well, he said, now yeah. he know how I feel to be George no. Floyd bro now he know bro, what that is. what now I know how like, I feel bro. to have a, a knee on my neck <laughs> can't need a bitch can't need some black women around him dog he needs somebody to be like bro stop shit. saying oh. that bro no bro stop <laughs> saying that bro no he bro he need Cause he don't got nobody around him, bro. No, I mean, he don't like somebody. black women for real, bro. bro, bro he, he needs somebody, he needs somebody to pull him on. He needs somebody to When the last time he been with a black woman, bro? When the last time he been with a black bro? woman? Who? She wasn't black for real. I'm weak. She, black <laughs> <enough>. <laughs> she like mad mix, bro. She damn near white. My man said ever wrong. She is a mix. I think she is white. I think she might be white. Is she? No, she mixed. Yeah, she ain't really black for real, bro. Uh, that you color. Not, not I'm saying, that. yeah, not I'm saying that many people not black. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying. <laughs> I will get your answer. Look, man. I, I just, like, come on, man. How do you even think that forming that sentence made sense, bro? Yeah. But yeah. also, even that, the George Floyd comment d- didn't hurt me. I mm. will say that it didn't hurt. It just was just like, why? Oh, no, it's false. It's just like why? Why would you even come up to say that, bro? Like, uh, okay, think about it like this: in the bigger scheme of the world, right? In the middle of COVID and the peak of COVID, the government said, "Let's get this one random cop, right? Let's get this one random cop, and we're gonna give him fentanyl, and we want you to go out there and find a black person today." And I want you to inject him with fentanyl and make it look like you put your knee on his neck. Just so that we can do what? Exactly. Just so we can start a, a riot in the black community about this? Or... What? If it was fentanyl, then let it be fentanyl. You know what I mean? Like, why That's do I need what? to have a version of the story where maybe he had his knee on his neck or maybe it was just a fentanyl? That's why he was calling on the mama. He be what? on that fake woke shit, bro. That fake woke shit, like, bro. Like, I'm not saying fentanyl is not a problem and it's killing people and it's a real thing, but if this, if that had nothing to do with this whole situation that wasn't like literally t- occupied a whole year of people's lives. He's, he, he, did, he was like, oh, I watched the documentary and then this, bro. Bro, no. Rod, did you see the interview where he was talking about um Barack Obama, bro? No, bro. What Yo, I'm going to put the video in. That shit was hilarious. I'll talk to him if I see him. Yep. But I guarantee you he see me. I don't even know him. I just thought that sound cool. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I didn't mean that. He was like, oh, I was just kidding. I didn't mean that. I don't really know the guy. That shit was hilarious. And it's just like, bro, <laughs> this is the type of shit he be doing, bro. He be just be saying shit, bro. That nigga just be saying shit, bro. I'm going to put that video That's why that I, look, that I should be funny, bro, because he just this be saying troll, what bro. And he he just... be trolling, bro. He said, I don't even know the guy. I've never seen him. Bro, like, what are you talking about, bro? <laughs> like, you beef on Barack Obama. Weird, bro. Bro. Yeah, bro. Come on, bro. <laughs> Imagine beef with Obama. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> exactly, bro. Obama? What? Barack don't talk to nobody. Mm-mm. Y'all know about Charles the White, though? Um, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Who, who is this, man? I, I know him. Um, God. That's a good question. Who is he? He's kind of like this older guy that just kind of been talking about the culture in different ways. So oh. yeah, that's a good question uh, as far as who he is. Ooh, I don't really know his background. What's up? I, got a theory. I think Charleston White 
was was inputted by the white man oh. because Chas the white whole story don't make no damn sense. How is he getting all this media coverage and he ain't did? He's not a rapper. He's not nobody. Nobody. He a nigga from a video talking about how he was how you snitching on how he be quitting his job and then suing his damn employers and some shit. Like I seen enough about Charleston White to know that he's nobody. But the fact that we keep interviewing this nigga is weird. Mm. Like I don't like I, I just think he a plant. I don't think he's a real person. I think he's. Oh, you don't. Like, you don't believe in his message. You don't see any truth to his message. Uh, you're not really listening, then. Okay, no, no, no. So now, no, you're not, no, bro. You're not really. I, then, I will say, don't I have. Fan, I understand. Bro. I, I know. Who I ain't he a is. fan of this nigga. I just know, like, I see both sides, bro. No, I know who he is. So my dad is really sucked into like listening and listening to like his podcast. I think he's a podcast. Too. He don't have a podcast, I don't think. I just know or he's always it's on something that he has like a YouTube channel of some kind, or oh, okay. that he know. actually sits there and talks on. Okay, and I'm usually seeing the videos. He really be talking about all these young new rappers and all the stuff that they be doing, and he be like, "Bro, back in my day, I would have bitch slapped you." Or in his one of his more recent things, he he be walking around, and he'll be mason folk who be trying to try him. Hey. <laughs> He's yeah. an, he's an interesting guy from his point of view because he's kind of trying to keep it a hundred with y'all. Mm-hmm. Like yo, y'all gonna stop? Like look, look, watch this whole takeoff situation. Watch you gonna talk. He's about gonna this. talk about that for sure. I know he's gonna talk about it because he's gonna be like, he he's like on the same level of listening to Boosie. Yeah. yeah, but he's not a rapper. He's mm-hmm. like uh, just an old head for real. Who's like talking to y'all? Like yo. Bro, what we ain't giving y'all no game no more. Like how y'all? And you know how you don't like him, Marlon. You kind of need him, nobody. bro. Like y'all you empower the guy. You kind of need him, bro. You need the anti. You need the anti. You need the anti. He might no, sound no, crazy. No, 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 fuck that. Yeah. We have we have our OGs who will come in and say shit time to time. Who? We have, we are who? Empower- shut up. Nigga. We are who? empowering. Random old nigga who be hating <laughs> on young niggas. Like, wait, 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 wait. Let's not gloss yo, over that, bro. Let's this, not gloss over that. Then, <laughs> then, <laughs> then, what did he say? He who said, is this nigga, bro? Like, I swear, I see this man on Instagram every go, day. We got these old people. Who, who is Charles the White? Well, he is yo, nobody. He, Why? He Why do we keep that shit? Hold on, hold on. Who are these old niggas that you speaking of, bro? Bro, who are these old niggas that you talking about, bro? Who are these old heads you speaking of? I'm just saying, it's old niggas <laughs> in the coach. Yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah, that shit. I just said. <laughs> Nah, bro, I'm you need sad, you bro. need a nigga like this, bro. That's gonna offset him? what's been going on. No Who is attended. he? He bro, is the balance. Challenge the fight. It challenge to a fight by Charleston White, bro. Yes, bro. He he the balance, bro. He gonna tell you like it is. You need He's, that nigga, why, bro. Why? Why, bro? That nigga, this nigga literally has admitted on mic to to wanting to rape white women. What the fuck? Why? Why y'all care about this nigga's opinion, bro? This nigga's a sicko. But y'all niggas think because he talk he talk a little shit about these rappers and shit. Y'all niggas think he cool. This nigga low key admitted to doing nasty shit. Like, who is this nigga, bro? Y'all like this shit? This, this is what Instagram is. I saw a video he was bro. playing about that. He was y'all just nah, playing about bro. that. Y'all hasn't admitted to doing nasty shit, bro. Shit, bro. All these y'all niggas, bro. bro it don't matter, but y'all niggas will listen to anybody. If a nigga talk good game, y'all will listen to anybody. These the truth right is here. the truth, bro. The truth bro. is the truth, bro. We bro. have a problem in our society, bro. Like, bro, he's the problem. He's the problem. He is he's not the problem, problem, bro. Yes, he is. bro. Why are you commenting on anything? Why? Why do we care about what you gotta say? Why are y'all interviewing these random niggas? Listen to this nigga, bro, and you'll niggas, see bro. why, bro. If you bro, this nigga ain't made no money. Why. This nigga got no millions. This nigga, ain't, who is this? Is the nigga online, bro? Why, why do we care? So why would people we, care about what you got to say, there, bro? They, honestly, and truly, I, listen, honestly, I'm nobody to none to most of y'all niggas. Honestly, this guy, I'm nobody. <laughs> I, 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 I said I'm gonna humble up nigga. real quick. You like, honestly, you truly. I ain't even had a nigga on a mic, literally. I am just a nigga in the universe, bro. Like, I honestly, we empower people. We, did, we can empower anybody and think they got a platform. That's the fuck apart, bro. You got a platform, so I got, I'm gonna see what you say, regardless of how the fuck I try to block your shit. It's gonna come to me, like, bro. Why do we care about these random niggas, bro? He ain't a rapper. Like he ain't in the industry. Bro. He not an OG. He ain't killed nobody. Like who is who is this nigga, bro? All right, let me hey. get to the video, bro. Damn, damn. damn. damn on that. Hey, they they got nothing to say. Now we got Ye, a billionaire, a billionaire who we watched come up out of Chicago. Not only that, the only.
who I've ever seen advocate for Larry Hoover to be free. That's true. The only entertainer I ever seen advocate for Larry Hoover to be free. Lil Durk ain't done it. So here go ye, he stand up. We all saying, yeah, he right. But boy, when they grab that baddest, that's always been a tactic. You take the baddest, bring him out in front of all the slaves, and you tie him up, and you whoop him, 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 and you keep whooping him in front of all these slaves. This one, this y'all baddest one, y'all richest one. He gonna stand up to us, and we all sit there and watch. Don't nobody join in. No, no celebrity, no entertainer. Jay Z punk ass turned on him. They whooping him. They whooping. They putting them lashes on his back. Then he find out to Toby. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. They still whooping him. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. They still whooping him. And he's still saying, I'm sorry. They won't stop whooping him. And we ain't said that's enough. We ain't stood up and said, Nick, y'all, that, that's enough. We ain't playing no more basketball. We ain't doing nothing no more. Because we can all come together and shake our dick at them if we want to. <laughs> that last word. He was like, hold on, wait. And I'm whooping him and whooping him and whoop. Like, bro, what the fuck? Come hey, on, bro. Dog. He ain't lying. What you think about it. He ain't lying. He, he, now, listen, he ain't lying. I ain't going to hate on it. He ain't lying. But why you feel like you, you the nigga to get that Here message? Here you go, bro. Uh, you go, bro. bro. bro because stop, the, bro. Because the other niggas ain't helping. The other one ain't saying nothing. Exactly, Marla. Ain't nobody saying it, bro. I ain't going to cap. If I was like in, in Jay Z position, and Jay was my man. So, hey man, dog, hey, you gonna have to fry. I love you, but you gonna have to fry, bro. I'm sorry, cause like, I got it. Oh, Marley, bro, I love you. I love you. You gonna have to fry because his thing, right? If you my man's, even uh, even one of y'all, uh, let's put it like this, man. You my man's, right? And I ain't gonna lie to you. Right, you gotta use me. Like <laughs> <that> shit, bro. <laughs> hey, bro. Hey, bro. I don't know. I feel like. We do love this nigga in the culture. I feel like we do we do appreciate what he done and, and all that shit. But I do feel like he strays off with his message too much for us to at a point support him. I even the niggas with the most power. I feel like they might fuck with him in private, but that shit you doing right now, how can I support you? It's gonna fuck my money up trying to support you. Like he that, that's really execute, what I feel man. like. He don't know how to execute. He don't know how to form and a he would coalition. Never will. You don't know he how never to will. be patient, bro. Sometimes you got to be patient with shit like this. Sometimes you got to build a empire before you start trying to crash some other shit down. Like, he don't know how to do that. He's just jumping around. Oh, I have this idea. I want to throw this out. Oh, I got this idea. If y'all don't fuck with me, that means y'all don't like black people. Oh, I don't like black people. No, wait. I love black people. I love Jesus. As a matter of fact, it's like, bro, stop, mm -hmm. fam. Like, you got to. God told me. Slow it down, man. Slow it down. Like he needs somebody in his corner, bro. He need me in his corner, bro. Bro, he Kanye, you. bro, he put that. me in he the corner, you, bro. bro. I'm he telling you, bro. Hire, bro. Let's like, dog, this, bro. slow down, bro. bro. Think about yeah. what the fuck you're gonna say next. Form a plan so niggas can yeah. grab onto the plan, bro. He don't have a plan for real. He's just saying shit at this point. <laughs> Listen, shit is stupid. I'm, I'm just waiting for his next arc. I'm waiting for his say arc. I'm waiting for him to say, fuck God. God, look out for me. And then I'm like, I'm like because it goes in phases, bro. He goes, he's on some, some shit every time. It don't make no sense. Oh, God. <laughs> like, no, I'm telling you, bro, like, Man, he goes jump to start. something else. Nobody's stopping him, bro. He's going to jump to something else. Yeah, that's a fact. I think he said he was going to get into tech next. So he's going to be doing that. You on? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. But what y'all think about what Charleston said, though? Man, Charleston, he letting y'all know, bro. He, he did for real. Just told y'all in the most basic terms, this is what they doing, bro. Mm. They, took, they took the one, the loud and proud one. They beating him in front of everybody, and not everyone can help him, and you can't really stop it, or you can, yeah. and nobody wants to, mm. like, bro. Literally. Jay, Jay, or Diddy, or whoever them, they could jump right in right now and be like, "Hey, yo, stop this!" Yeah, and start, yeah it's gonna you. hurt them too. But yep. they scared. I'm you for the money, yo. I think like that's really what it is. I'm not trying to for the money. I'm trying to trying to save you. Yo, mm. everybody stop playing basketball, bro. Crazy. Mm -hmm. Crazy. Mm -hmm. You be like, you know, nah, no, what? Nah, we stand with Kyrie. Nah, we stand with Kanye. Type of stuff. You know what I mean? We done. Let's stop this. And speaking of Kyrie, Kyrie, he goes off on the media. Yeah, comments on being Jewish and 
and on the Amazon Prime, I was like, you know what, let me see if there are any documentaries on Yahweh. Went in the search bar, typed in Yahweh, that came up. Went out and shared it on my platform. That was my night. In terms of the backlash or what people call it, uh, we're in 2022. History is not supposed to be hidden from anybody. And I'm not a divisive person when it comes to religion. I, I embrace all walks of life. You see it on all my platforms. I talk to all races, all cultures, all religions. And my response would be, um, it's not about educating yourself on what Semitism is and what anti-Semitism is. It's really about learning the root words of where these come from and understanding that this is an African heritage that is also belonging to the people. So out of all the judgment that people got from me posting, I, I just, without talking to me and then, but there has a lot to do with the not ego or pride of how proud I am to be an African heritage, but also to be living as a free black man here in America, knowing the historical complexities for me to get here. I'm not going to stand down on anything that I believe in. I'm only going to get stronger because I'm not alone. I have a whole army around me. And to follow up on the promotion of the movie and the book. Can you please stop calling it a promotion? What am I promoting? Put it out on your platform. But I'm promoting it? Do you see me doing, do you see By me in front of the putting it out there, the people title? are going to say that you are Yeah, I put promoting. it out there just like you put things out there, right? Yeah, but I, okay. I, it's not You put stuff. things out there for a living, right? Right, but my great, stuff great. is so not let's move on. filled let's with anti-Semitic Let's stuff. move on. Don't dehumanize me up here. I, I'm, not, I'm not doing I'm that. You're human free being. to post I can what, post whatever I want, so say that what, and shut it down and move on to the next question. But Kyrie, you have to understand that by I don't have to understand anything from you. It's not me. Nothing. It's no people that you're making up, bro. Move on. But by posting what you did, next question. Anybody you guys have any more questions they're going to say, you guys have any more questions? This is, gonna be a clip. this is going to be a clip that he's going to marvel at. Is this any more questions? But you're not answering the question. Uh, this is another answering your question. Oh, my God. Let's make another Instagram clip so we could be famous again. Next question. Meanwhile, Ben clips it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. That's my point guard fantasy league. Let my boy. That's Woo, my dog, man. <laughs> That's my dog, bro. He real, man. Fuck it. He Man. real now? Bro, he always was. <laughs> he always was. He always was, bro. Like, he just had a different way of thinking, bro. He always was, bro. Like, all right. Y'all ain't even peep y'all peep the hoodie he was rocking. He was really already mm-hmm. letting y'all know he really in this. Y'all, y'all playing, man. <sighs> Protect Kyrie, bro. Protect Kyrie, Protect bro. Because they really going to try to hit this man like a Kaepernick soon. Like, bro, and I feel like it's fucked up, bro, because he just explained to you basically the whole point and how he's feeling, where he's going. Why is it so fucked up for us to have different re- religious views and have different views as people? I am a person with a massive platform, but why? Because I'll be posted something like that. It doesn't it has nothing to clearly saying like really derogatory shit. I don't I don't get it. It does not yeah. make no sense in a report. reporter, that's very classless what you did because in the end it's like bro you're just you're stretching the point you're trying to get a story you're trying to make make this black man out to be something more divisive than what he is he told you what it was now that arguing going back and forth and shit it's like what was you trying to gain because you're trying to act like he's the enemy or some shit like bro he told you what it was he explained to you what it was i'm not promoting it like bro this is just how i'm feeling right now and why we can't speak on it you know why every time someone speaks on it it's anti-Semitic. Damn. I thought we had freedom of speech. They got the free they got the control over that, bro. Yeah. There's something going on, Ra. It's something going on, like in the secret societies, bro. Something mm-hmm. going on. That's all I'm gonna say. I bro. can't say too much because you already know the Illuminati might get me. So yeah. but I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just nah, saying. Yeah. It's something going on, bro. Protect Kyrie, bro, because these these boys out here. But you know what? Let's say they try to blackball Kyrie like how they did uh, Kaepernick. I yeah. feel like the NBA or the players would stand up for him. I feel like Dude. I really feel like they're like NFL. That was something bigger, you know what I mean? NFL so grand and big. Basketball is big, but I feel like the players would be like, "Nah, you know what? That junk ain't right. We gonna stand with Kyrie for real." Mm-hmm. And, Get him right. I, I really have faith that they would. Uh, but if they, they losing like, money, do you think they'll still do that if they losing money? They'll be fine. It's a no for me. They'll be fine. I don't think they do that. They're not doing that if they losing money. I think they will, bro. Hell they will. no. Hell no. Hell People no. just wanted to see Kyrie last season for real, even though he was yeah. dealing with the anti-vax stuff, right? Yeah. 
now if this is our next story arc for him, man, I feel like he Rod, got- do you think all of those players wanted to take the vaccine? No. Hell right no. Then. Why did they do it? Why did they do it though? Because they conform it. Because they why it. though? Because they wanted the but money. So you think if he people. step out of line, because that's essentially what he would be doing. If he stepped out of line, do you think they would step out of line too? Fuck no. no. Bro, I have a exactly. weird feeling that LeBron James ain't vaxxed. LeBron James ain't human, number one. Let's start there. <laughs> that man is superhuman. Cause ain't no reason why he's still playing like this. But uh, <laughs> he's but. the only power, he's all the power they need. That's it. For real. All right, moving on. So we got yeah. the Daryl Brooks trial. Have y'all heard about Daryl Brooks? I have not. No. This guy was charged with driving into a Christmas parade and killing six people. When? Here's some of his craziest moments in court. Impregnated Erica Patterson when she was a minor in Nevada, and for doing so, he was convicted of statutory sexual seduction, pled guilty in March of 2007 to that felony offense, and is a sex offender on the registry as a result. So if there's any causation that would lead to Erica Patterson being a bad mom, Mr. Brooks has a direct role in that causation. And that's further I'll check to that. I'm not because sure. that's a lie. Let him at finish. The end of the day, Let him we, finish. We're gonna open the Mr. door on that. No, since he wanna make a record and not be accurate, so let's be ac- accurate all on the record since you think you know so much. Once so again, we can Mr. open Brooks the door on we can open the door on how old she told me she was. Interrupting. We, we can ask He's, that question he is to me. Over the top animated right now. Do you know that? Mr. Brooks, I'm ordering you to sit down and to let the scene finish. No, I'm not gonna sit here and let somebody be inaccurate on the record and lie on the record. Under Illinois versus Allen, I've warned him repeatedly. He's being removed from the courtroom. It's not a game. We I don't think I this as a game. That's what that's what nobody that's what nobody again. you don't gotta explain nothing to me. Do you want that's what you don't understand? You think you that this is a whole game to, to me? Question? This is a game to me, Your Honor. Not, nothing about this is a joke. I didn't what y'all don't understand. But and it's unfair. It's unfair on. and it's disrespectful to me that you think I would come in here purposely and treat this like a joke or a game. I never said it. What type of statement is that? So I, so I think, Your Honor, with all due respect, I think you so should show some respect. Five I don't have a problem with doing what you ask me to do, not tell me. Just like when I Did ask you, you about subject matter jurisdiction that you have yet to prove on the record. But somehow I'm being intentionally disruptive. Of, uh, come on, man. Stop. Just stop it. Pick up potential as to a uh, witness. By the name of Ava Lescano, he has prior criminal history. Thank you. To provide the defendant and the court with a copy. So that had to be that had to be said. So it's the defendant. That's not how it was said. That, that was how it said. You want to run the record back, Mr. Brooks? So I'm the only one. I got one. Mr. I got Brooks. one ear that work, and I heard that. This on, is man. to benefit on, you, so that no, you not. understand Ain't none your of this to witness benefit me, so let's has be clear a prior about that. record. Your Honor, when I leave the table, I'm away from the courtroom, and I have to elevate my voice. This is the alleged record of Abel Lescano. Stop talking. Come on, man. Like, I don't Um, know who y'all be thinking y'all fooling. I set for value, return for value, this uh, document. One more interruption, and you're going to be removed to the next courtroom. That's what you want to do? So, can you Your Honor, I believe he has seven prior criminal convictions via OWI second from 1997 and OWI third from 1997. An OWI 4th, 2003, criminal trespass to dwelling from 2006. Right, I need to take a break. This man right now is having a stare down with me. It's very disrespectful. He pounded his fist. Frankly, it makes me scared. That nigga crazy, bro. That nigga's crazy. Man, RIP <laughs> to the people that died, but... Yeah, no, bro. Wow, he was trying to defend himself in court, so... That was... Bro, amazing. where his lawyer at? Bro, bro, you want you want to lawyer that nigga? But where him. your lawyer at, bro? Like, who finna defend that shit? I Public can't. attorney? I, I don't know. But it's bro, yo, yo, you ran through a. You, you say he killed like six people? Yeah. God, what? Just driving That's through crazy. a parade. That's crazy. That man said I only got one ear that work, and I could hear that. What? <laughs> You only got one working year, my boy. Why are you oh, talking to the God. judge like that? Yo, he was talking to the judge. He was ready so to disrespectful up, for real, Yo, bro. He was ready to square up with the judge. Yo, the judge had to stand up real quick. Said, "Oh, hold up, 
Angry man, yeah. angry man. Security behind him looking like, oh, shit, I'm actually going to have to do some work today. <clears throat> I see people, Marlon. Damn. So it's all I can't even hate on. <laughs> <laughs> Not you blaming this nigga. Hey, all right, moving on, cool. man. Yeah. He said that's just good. Did chill. <laughs> but um, all right, so we got Derek Rose. Derek Rose speaks on being stuck in the matrix and finally getting out. That's what I mean, being a part of like what you were just talking about, being a part of the matrix. But I didn't shake out of that shit until after I got hurt. So a lot of people may look at my story and be like, man, he's the biggest what if, blah, blah, blah. You right. What if I didn't get in injured? What? I would not have found myself. Mm. I still would have been a part of the fucking circus, bro. What is the circus? I mean, going along with the act. Break, break it down, because it. All right, what's the I right, let me just tell you. Right. The circus. Only looking up shit that's on Instagram that they feed to you. That's the circus. Mm -hmm. Where it's like, oh, black history, you learn something about black history, and it's like, oh, I'm about to look this up now. That's the matrix. Instead of you going and looking up, like, all right, if I'm into cameras, I want to know who made Sony, and I want to know who, who, how did, he, how did he make his money, and who was his family, and what school did he go to, right. and what was his interest in making camera? What triggered him to make that camera? Right. Instead of you seeing it online, like, oh, a black man made a camera, or some made a camera, this and that. Right. I want to know the interest. And I didn't understand that until after I got hurt. Like, uh, the hat I got on. My nigga. Yeah, for sure, but... This is my liberty bill, bro. Mm. Feel me? This is my I, I'm I'm free, bro. Like I'm trying to break get as much liberation as possible. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I wear the hat. Motherfuckers wanna know why I wear the hat. I wear the hat because I'm trying to break free. I'm trying to get free. I'm trying to get as much knowledge as possible. Wait, what just happened? Yeah, that hat was like a Liberty Bill. Oh, okay. Yeah. I I was like, wait, what? He just kind of he just kind of stopped and just like, this my Liberty Bill. This right here. I was like, hold up, wait, oh, oh, okay, all right. You free, cool, bro? Free. You free? Niggas, cool, had, niggas had to overcomplicate mental mental illness or mental or going through mental shit with really hard experiences. Niggas tried to like find reasons or find things to distract them from forms of like the suffering and the pain that they was dealing with granted a lot of those things like even him saying that and showing that you just that's what those are his coping mechanism this is tied to what he had to do to get through the hard times in his life but it always just comes off looking kind of strange i ain't gonna lie like i was kind of confused that watching that whole video like no disrespect but like i was so confused I was trying to get to the point. I thought we was getting to a good point about overcoming struggle and battle. And he talked, he lost me at, at the nigga with the camera and shit like that. I was saying, like, okay. wait, wait, where are you going with this? Like, my head hurt. I was like, bro, like, what are you trying to say? Like, like real dear, I, like, I'm trying, like, I fuck with you, dog. I know it was hard, but like, what, what are you trying to tell me right now? Like, I don't get it. Like, I, like maybe, maybe I missed the message. Maybe, maybe it's not for me. But I ain't yeah. it. <laughs> no, no, shit. That's your nah, I, I mean, I, I'm kind of with you on that, bro. What he said wasn't too like, profound or anything like that. I mean, like, what I was understand. he saying, though? Yeah, they were saying, have independent thought, bro. Don't be forced. Bro, fed. he sound like Kanye. And, and, I, I, you know, I, about. and I like that point like that he made about the whole Instagram thing, you know, thinking for yourself and not being trapped into Instagram. But the point didn't does, connect, but, though, yeah. like. But I, it didn't make sense to me. I he was, was like, just I letting thought, us know, like, how did this tie to basketball? And... How did this tie to your story? We stopped talking about you. <laughs> nigga, we stopped talking about you. And we started talking about what other niggas is doing. Like, like bro, I understand. Be, you, yeah. I'm a nigga who, who believes in being free and all that shit. But, like, bro, you made no sense with what you were trying to say. I was really <laughs> said, get back to playing basketball, nigga. He no, said, I ain't shut up and that. dribble. <laughs> but, but sometimes, but sometimes, bro, sometimes, bro, sometimes like, niggas with money be trying to get super woke. And that shit be sounding real crazy i ain't gonna lie to you like if you woke do the right things get in line with your spiritual nature blah 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 but like bro sometimes y'all rich niggas be doing it weird but y'all niggas be do not y'all not y'all do not be understanding what the hell y'all trying to understand <laughs> like bro you he was like, figuring bro, out in real time like, you was trying like, to figure bro, out like, bro, like, bro, big, yeah. like big bro like Nick, bro, I understand <laughs> I, it was hard bro i, I was there I was, I was i was crying with you gang but damn like 
<laughs> nah, I mean, he should have just stopped right there at the whole Instagram point, but um, nah, that's yeah, why I was like, I was gonna throw off with the hat. I was like, he took the hat off. I could have stopped, sure. I could have fell out when he took the hat off. <laughs> he was holding the bitch, he was holding the bitch like he was, his, like, he was, like, oh, like was like, oh, oh. But it, I hate I hate niggas. I would I want niggas to say when that shit look weird, bro. Niggas be looking like niggas be every time a nigga be saying crazy stuff in an interview. Niggas be looking at this man like that nigga saying real shit. Like, bro, yeah. you know because they don't want to stop. Please, I beg you, this shit gonna be this shit look crazy. You look crazy right now, like because anybody could say that, man. You could say that. Well, I could have said that. You know, hey, don't use social media. It's a whole programming system. Don't use it. You know, anybody can say that. Like, if you my homie, you said that, but okay. Like, I ain't got nothing to say to you. That shit sounds Yeah. Crazy. But the whole, oh, this is my liberty oh. bill, and I'm no, free oh, now. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Cool. Niggas, 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 niggas. the word energy and spirituality in the fucking ground, bro. I'm tired of niggas saying energy, spirituality, being free. I get it, bro. But y'all niggas be running that motherfucker into the ground, bro. Like, mean, God, bro. This why I don't be, be liking like, them peace bro. and positivity girls, bro. I don't be liking that no, shit, he, No, 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 no. And that's the difference. Peace and positivity girls, they be going through trauma in their life. And I understand being spiritually woke and trying to do this and do that. It, it gives you a different purpose in life and it, and it changes and it helps you out with your experiences. But it's like, mm-hmm. it, it, just be, it be seeming like a that goal with fake. no point. It, it, it do be seeming like a little fake. They be mad then, toxic, bro. Oh, no, no. They be, they, they be the best hoes, though. Because of shit. One thing about them, though, they, they gonna justify it all. Look at being fake. <laughs> <laughs> hey bro, this shit is weird, bro. It's, 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 shit out here is weird, bro. Like I, I keep saying it, like I don't get what niggas go, got going on. Nah, for real, bro. These niggas is tripping her days. I'm concerned, bro. Like you yeah, got me scared. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Smino, love for rent. Yes, sir. How y'all boys feel about that album, man? Love for rent. <sighs> Who going first, man? I can. Yeah, you, you want me to go first, Ben? Yeah, go it. ahead, bro. Go ahead. It was way better than I, than I thought it was going to be. I think that the intro track and the second track, and the, like the first three tracks were crazy off rip. I loved his production on, on his album. He really wanted some shit that was going to shake the car. I think he didn't try to force a lot of things on this album. I think he just kind of just kept it in his style, and he was moving free with it. I, I don't think he... Tr- Though I think he just he stayed true to what to what he is, and even in, like near, near the end of the album, having a little the little Teddy Ray audio on that bitch that really meant a lot because I know I know they was cool and shit like that before Teddy died. Like mm. I, I, it was a it was a solid project. I think overall, I did expect a little bit more than what than what we got, but I can settle for this. I, I could be realistic about this because with Smino, I we always say for years and years and years, probably over five years, we want this nigga to like reach that upper level in hip hop and reach that respect level. But it's like sometimes shit you, is this might be the best, you know what I'm saying? This might be what we get, you know what I'm saying? And then it's mm-hmm. like you gotta just allow, let people appreciate the art. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, it just gotta set, set the art apart for what, what it was. But I enjoyed the album. I, I listen to that shit like almost every day. Yeah, man, I told the guys, I'm like, this is probably his best work. Um, I think what he's doing musically, he's pushing the boundaries of hip hop. Mm -hmm. He's literally pushing it. Um, Sonically, this is one of the weirdest albums I ever heard, but it just sounds so good, man. He made it sound good, man. Like every every weird beat, every weird effect he did to his voice, it sounds good. What he does flow-wise is impeccable, man. Like nobody touching him with the flows, bro. Like you talk about just multiple flows throughout the album, it's crazy. No song sound the same. Every song had its own value to it. Dolce, man, Dolce. Oh my god, bro. Yo, it's going crazy. I will Jeez, say bro. Dolce. I was like, yo, TD, please don't drop Jesus the ball. Christ. Please don't drop the ball. Because y'all don't know what y'all got right here. She's so nasty. She, a damn she star, is bro. sick. Damn. She better I, than 85% of these niggas, bro. I was like, yo. Facts. She is nasty. That flow she came through with, I'm like, God damn. Yeah. I didn't know I needed that. It was good. That's was one good. of the best features of the year, bro. It was a great, um, was a great feature. Yeah, man. I mean, as far as storytelling or anything intricate, 
Smino kind of falls behind in that lane. Mm-hmm. But if you want to go to him for the sonic ability and just like vibes and shit, that's his that's his pocket. Um, it's not a story, it's just the vibes. Like you could tell yeah. what his core is in his music, but it's like it, I don't it'd be weird to see Smino actually try to do storyteller. I think he could if he actually tried to put his thoughts into it to make an album like that, but it's just like it's always the feeling. His album all about his sounds and his feeling. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. And that's kind of hard to pull off too. You know, cohesive. Yeah, I like because a lot of niggas don't, don't they don't have a feeling with their music. And, and we all can remember the first time we heard Black Swan. We remember how vivid, like you could put words to the how, to the way that shit sounded when you first heard it. And like I said, all his parties kind of yeah. carried that same formula. So at this point, it's kind of like shit, I could be nothing more. But excited and proud about. about, about I like the story on um old ass Kendrick though. That was a good one. Uh, yeah, that shit was crazy. I like the shit he did with Lil Uzi. I like the shit he did with Reggie. I yeah. mean, I, uh, it's just a lot I of good songs. All yeah. right, man. It's time for me to play devil's advocate here. Oh mm. shit! Mm, this is not that good. Damn! No, don't do that, bro. Oh man, yeah, it's a, like sweet, bro. No, oh shit. I don't know, man. I'm sitting here and I'm trying to get into it. I'm listening to it, and it's just like, like I give him his props for his production and the transitions between these songs, and you're like, oh shoot, I'm in the next song, and you feel a little bit of a change. But I wasn't impressed. What? In my mind. I feel like he's just too late for me to want to listen to this. Like the Doji, the Doji, yo, that was cool. The old ass Kendrick, I was like, this don't feel like no old ass Kendrick. Just hey, he, he, it ain't supposed to was, hold on. It ain't supposed to feel I like old ass kid. Like I, I, I heard the line. Up, of, oh, I was bumping some old ass. Yeah, he buys. Like, he buys, bro. bro. He, he buys. Bro. Bro. He said, bro, 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 don't give ass me, bro, don't give me a name <laughs> oh, called I old ass Kendrick. Mama, if we ain't going rap on some old ass. Oh God, bro. You a bias? Oh God, you bias, bro. It ain't supposed to feel like it. Bro, I knew he was gonna tell me he saw it, bro. I was like, "Oh, okay, old ass kid. We gonna get like an old like section eighty. <laughs> but he said it more than one time. No, no, it was like, it was like, no. what am I listening for? I was like, like he's he said old ass kid one time. He felt like this was good, bro. He got offended, bro. Um, <laughs> he I'm still not a fan. Still not a fan of uh, ninety uh, proof. I'm still not a fan of ninety proof. What? I wasn't a fan of it before, and I'm not a fan of it now. Um, oh Cole comes God. in with this this. Under under the microphone like verse, it's all quiet in the background, and I'm like, I don't really care. And Damn. then it's it's this mass amounts of like it's like smoker music, you know what I mean? Like you want to be smoking, you want to be high, and it's just like, I right, Smino, you smoking? Cool, bro. I don't really care. Mm, um, bro, you loved it though, nigga. You a smoker? What the hell? Like it's that's not crazy. like is that? But that's the thing. I'm okay with music like that, but it's like. I don't know. It just doesn't feel no. Doesn't because get, the problem is, I don't know. In you the sense, try, more in the sense, I'm like more looking for like Black Swan. Whenever I listen to this Mino project, I'm looking for that feeling. I don't get that feeling from this. I feel like how I'm do you getting, not get that feeling from I this? Just don't, bro. It just doesn't feel right. What? I don't know. It like I'm telling you, every song feels. You super got what slow. I call. You got what I call the debut itis, bro. I guess this is a term that I made up. The yeah. debut itis is when. You listen to the first album, you love it, and everything after that you don't love anymore because it you doesn't sound like it. that first album, yeah, man. bro. I was like, you got the debut like, artist, we were bro. asking before. We were, we were like, oh, yeah, where's this Mino? Where's this Mino? And then they dropped, and I was just like, I don't even want to listen to this, shit, bro. And then, like, Damn. I listened to it, and I was like, <laughs> this is why I didn't want to bro, listen to it because I, I felt bro, like it was going to be some, things, bro. Like, some oh whack job. It was, <laughs> yo. I just could oh. I just couldn't get with it, man. Maybe it's like maybe it's my time. It's not my time to listen to it. Like I was, so I was it's not better than noir. Noir. With, uh, it's not better than noir. um yeah, it's not better than that. I, noir I didn't like either. Yeah, I oh got the itis, bro. God. This is real. Uh it took it's me a while to even like itis. really really listen to noir and be like, I appreciate it, but this is like it's like all right, cool, bro. You dropped that. Like when we was listening to the mixtape before uh that he had dropped, that was cool and all, but it was like that's this is dope. This is cool. It felt like a black swan where bro, you're getting you getting you showing me your rapping capability. This you I see you have flows. I see it. I don't know if maybe it was more of the beats that just had me like uh why every why every beat feel like I'm I'm floating. 
where I got that's what you do, bro. I didn't really, bro. Black the beats Swan, are better. Bro. The beats are better than Black bro, Swan beats. I just, bro. They're better than the Black Swan beats. Stop, yes, bro. Nah, bro. bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. The Black Swan beats were wild as fuck. That shit bro, really Black like Swan beats was hitting different, and like you no, know, they were hitting, but had, it was like, bro, they was all over the place. Those, it was like, all over the place for real. But like he had those like wild, those really smooth, random aspects to it, the wavy feel to it, and I was like, okay, this is cool. Mix it up, do it. This shit just feel like, bro. I'm listening to Black Swan. Was like I'm, I'm listening to <laughs> listening to a blunt. I'm listening to a blunt, bro. bro. I couldn't do it. I just wasn't, I just wasn't fuck, liking it, bro. Yeah, you old ass Kendrick nothing. was like one of my final you straws. And, I can, and I can, I can you ain't even thing. like no L's, bro. No L's. You crazy. wasn't fucking with no L's, bro. bro. Ain't no way, bro. No L's isn't bad. I told you the songs oh on here aren't bad. God. It's just not what I want, bro. Like what I don't, do you want? Like the song with Lucky Day, right? Like the song with Lucky Day, right? Not really into it. Just when, <laughs> where I was feeling. Bro, that shit was a baby, bro. Well, how did uh, you bro. not like no L's? Like when that shit come on, you supposed to be like, oh shit, this is no different. no L's is the first song. Yeah, I'm gonna like it because it's my intro. I haven't heard, but you don't like it like that, bro. You don't like it like that. <laughs> Bro, that's crazy, bro. It's not where I'm at right now, bro. Man, mute your mic, bro. Mute your mic, bro. Bro, get your, yeah, your mute mic. your mic. You, you, you out of here. Mute your mic. You out of here. I'm going. Hey, man. But uh, what would y'all rate this project, though? Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. Mm. Go, Ra. Mm-hmm. What you rating it, Ra? Five. Damn, nigga. <laughs> I don't give it a butt with you, bro. I'm going to rate that joke a straight five, bro. Uh, sure? One day I'm gonna regret that probably, but like I'm giving it a five right now. Mm, and like this ain't crazy. bro, this ain't gonna break him into no next lane. This ain't gonna bro. This project isn't gonna like traject him to go to the next level in hip hop. But bro, everyone but bro, knows the way music is nowadays, you don't know really what the fuck's gonna catapult. Bro, the what song on, on here is gonna be? What ninety proof gonna be playing on the radio? Mm. The one with Doja <laughs> gonna be playing on the radio. Mm. Noel's like I don't know maybe. Thinking, maybe he's not looking for radio but then okay yeah, but the thing is, is like you've been you don't make radio you know radio, radio isn't like it's just uh, yeah. even good song facts but also what you are you creating stuff that's gonna really make you blow a little bit bigger and push you? Into I don't think he's doing it for that. Trying to do that. You've made you made something he ain't doing it for that. You made something for the people who are like, oh yeah, I'm a Smino fan. I want to listen to Smino. Boom. That's fine, but I don't know. In my opinion, I'm looking for more from him now. He's like, yo, I know you have this capability to like. What do you want to be? I have. I feel like he has the capability to be on everyone's playlist. He can bigger than where he is right now. I believe it. It just doesn't make you feel like that. It makes me feel like, oh, I'm just going to stay to my roots and just stay here and do this. I don't think his sound is palatable for everybody. I don't think. I don't think his sound nah. is palatable for Bro, I, a lot of that people. man. Definitely could make some some hard. He can you know, some stuff. Yeah, but some people don't like his voice though, bro. Some people don't really fuck with the flow and shit. They don't mm-hmm. like all that fast rap type shit. So, yeah, I think he excelled in his lane, bro. <laughs> He's so disrespectful, bro. I'm gonna give it a. Uh, I'm gonna give it a eight out of ten though. Give it eight out of ten. Okay. All right, let's move on. So, a woman talks about an issue she had while planning a date. If he wanted to, he would. Hear me out. I went on a date with a guy last week, and it was a good date. We had a fun time together. He's a big time lawyer. He owns three to four cars. He's doing really well in life. You guys know I'm a model, I'm new to the city transplant don't even have a car yet like still building up my life out here regardless i expect my date to either pick me up or uber me to the date that is just my standard the first date he was a perfect gentleman he picked me up and everything he calls me today for a second date he wants to go golfing i said great what time are you picking me up he's like well it's out of the way to pick you up i just recommend you uber to me and then we can go on our date and then I wasn't sure if he meant me Uber myself or him Uber me. So I hung up and I texted him. I was like, hey, I'm excited for Saturday, but just to clarify, he calls me up and he's like, can you clarify your text message? And I said, 
I was wondering what you meant by the Uber. Were you going to call me an Uber or did you want me to call an Uber for myself? And he said, I recommend you call an Uber for yourself. And I said, oh, well, um, you know, since this is a date, I prefer you to Uber me or you can pick me up. And he's like, oh, well, I think you could just do it yourself. And my thing is, yes, I can do it myself, but you're asking me on a date. I expect to be taken care of pick me up or call me an uber the notion that it's too far or too out of the way for the date it's an inconvenience for me because now i have to pay for part of this date i have a problem with that and when i think about it you guys like some women my sister for example she won't even pay for an ice cream at the end of the date and she's been dating her guy for a couple years now but even the first few months of their dating she refused to pay for anything she didn't pay for anything he was like can't you just pay for an ice cream after dinner and she's like no and guess what she moves in with this man they've been together for three years about to get married he picked that girl he didn't pick the girl that was like trying to be nice and pay for her own uber and pay for her own meal no he picked the girl that refused to pay for shit refused to pay for anything for his ass and he is in love he's about to put a ring on it he pays all the bills they live together he pays for everything and yet, when they first started dating, he tried to he tried to play her. He was like, oh, can you just pay for this? No, I'm not paying for anything. Take it or leave it. He took it. So if he wanted two ladies, he would. Okay, keep your standards high. That's all I got to say. I'm just, I'm just honest. Like, we're we not, we not going to do this. <laughs> we're not going to do this right now. Look, man. man. It's 2022. Look, man. Two, we want reciprocity. Like, they damn. Want we reciprocity. You can't get an Uber? Y'all gonna be singing forever. You can't get an Uber, bro? Like, come on, man. man We date. He'll pay for your own dinner, too. He asked you, he asked you on a date, right? Sometimes I offer him, like, hey, yo, you wanna wanna meet there or do I need to pick you up? Mm -hmm. If you say you wanna meet there, I'm figuring you're gonna figure your own way here. Yeah. Right? Why am I paying for you to get in the Uber? To so come to me. Then I'm Ubering you, you you Uber into my house and then I'm driving us to the date. Exactly. Bitch, what? Like, Bitch, what? Like what? I, I just met you, ho. Like what? They don't understand reciprocity, man. This shit is so one sided. Yes, I oh, asked you on a date, but that doesn't mean that I'm babysitting you. God damn. Yeah, you can't I mean, Uber to the fucking crib. Look, I'm probably gonna give you a ride back home. Did. Just dead, bro. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, you act like I told you, yeah, pay for your dinner, too. Talking about, yeah, he got three cars. He got, he's a lawyer. What does that mean? You can't Uber that your own mean, that, like, that, mean, that doesn't mean I'm looking Gosh, for a, a child exactly. to take care of. Yo, I mean, yo, you're a woman. I'm a man. Go ahead and t- you can pay for one. You can pay for your Uber to me. It's not exactly, that big a deal. Bro. Y'all just be trying to hold these standards. Well, you see, she didn't want to pay for no ice cream. Bro. I'm going to be. You don't know what he... that man had going on. You know nah, what I mean? Nah. Now he got to he gotta leave early to come all the way around town just to get you and then take y'all to the destination and then go all the way. Like, 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 no, difficult. bro. Yeah, nah, you being difficult. And then, baby, I don't want to do, do this. I don't want to say the obvious point of what it is, but, bro, come on now. <laughs> come on. Now. <laughs> She's a model, <laughs> come bro. On. She's a model, come bro. On, She's been man. in Vogue. What Drake say? I'm we talking about I'm, I'm not going to say She's been in Vogue, bro. I'm not going to say it because you're a black queen. But, <laughs> I mean, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> to who? <laughs> to, to, to old girl. Like, I'm just saying, dog. Like, no, nah, I'm saying you said she's a black queen. I'm just saying she a black queen, so I'm just saying but I'm not I'm not gonna be that person, but bro, it's probably a reason why you even though you was a crack fiend, mama, you always was a black queen. Mama. I'm just saying, I know yeah. your sister the reason why your sister could do it, bro. I, I I know it is in my heart, my spirit, I know it is. But you know, have okay, and here's the thing, let, like let, let's make this more than a mute point. Yes. Set your standards how I do for like if that's how you feeling, that's how you feeling. But at a point of a nigga just actually take a Uber, it's not that fucking deep. Like, I just feel like on some protection shit as a woman, you shouldn't be so quick to jump in a man's car anyway, especially if you don't know him like that. He just actually take an Uber, it, bitch. You know, I can pay like right. If you if you're going on the first date and that girl is like, Oh, yeah. can you pick me up? I'm gonna be like, eh. you don't even know me like that, number one. So like you know me like that. I asked 
homegirl, hey, yo, want to go, want to go on a date? Do you want me to come pick you up or do you want to meet there? And I picked her up. I was like, I don't really mind. I'll come pick you up. She tells me, she was like, yo, I usually don't like let people pick me up. But I was like, I felt like you were like really nice or whatever it was. So I'm fine with it. I'm not a crazy person. So, but it is an unsafe Red flag. thing to do sometimes. Red flag. Yeah, it could be. Yeah. <laughs> For real. Um, yeah, man. Because everything and what it seems. And I'm not yeah, saying uh, that, you know, we crazy or nothing like that. I'm just saying, as a woman, yeah. you want to protect yourself. I remember I yeah. was going on a date and I told a girl, I was like, hey, you want me to come get you? She was like, nah. I respect that. Because you don't really know me. Like, yeah, you fucking with me and shit like that, but you don't know me. You don't know what the fuck I got going on. I could do anything to you. In the car. Yeah. yeah. You understand what I'm saying? So this yeah. it's a little petty. I think she needs to grow up. Yeah. Uh, especially at that age. If you can't spend money at all as a grown woman, you don't need to be dating. I'll repeat that. If you can't spend anything at all as a grown woman, you, you don't get should not be dating because y'all won't let us date you and be broke as fuck. Facts. All right, y'all, let's move on. So a woman talks about four red flags that men notice. All right, ladies, I might ruffle some feathers with this one, but here are four major red flags that all men notice in women. Let's go. Number one, non-reciprocal energy. You hear a lot of women in the dating market saying when the right man comes along, you will not have to try. And although it's true that you won't have to try too hard, there's a difference between not trying too hard and not trying at all. You don't have to be thirsty. You don't have to come off desperate. But no man wants to be pursuing a woman that they feel is not giving them the same kind of energy in return. Number two, unrealistic financial expectations. Somewhere in the modern dating market, we have communicated to women that it is totally acceptable to expect a man to pay for their hair or their nails for a first date, or to even go as far as to ask a man they barely even know to help them with their bills. Feeling entitled to lavish treatment or financial assistance from a man that you barely even know that's still trying to get to know you is an extremely unrealistic expectation. And social media has done a really bad job of making modern women think that that behavior is normal. Let me be clear, there's nothing wrong with wanting a man who's financially solid, but no man wants to feel like they're your walking ATM. Number three, immaturity and uncontrolled emotions. Immaturity, uncontrolled emotions, acting crazy, all of that has been rebranded recently as being toxic. And there are a lot of social media channels out there that actually glamorize being toxic and encourage women to engage in this kind of behavior. When good men get a sense of that behavior, you lashing out, blocking their number, cursing them out, they either just stop taking you seriously from that point forward or they don't tolerate it altogether. Because you're coming across to him more so like a child who's throwing a temper tantrum than you are a woman who wants to be taken seriously as an adult. Number four, probably the most controversial one of all, being too masculine. A lot of women will shy away from being feminine now because of the negative connotation that's associated with that in modern society. Whether you like it or not, the reality is that men like feminine women. Now, this is the part in the story where a lot of women will say, well, it takes the right man to bring out that feminine energy. Although I do think that there are some points of that that are true, overall, I don't really agree with that. I think that as a woman, you either embrace your feminine energy and you walk in that or you just haven't tapped into it. There are so many women in the modern dating market who have hardened themselves to steal because of the negative experiences that they've had with men. Blocking your feminine energy is often a defense mechanism for a lot of women so that they don't get hurt in the future. But don't let the experiences of the past turn you bitter. The reality is, ladies, that there are two sides to every coin. And if we're going to talk about the bad traits of men, we also have to acknowledge and take accountability for the bad traits we have in ourselves. What would you guys like to add to that? That's my um, baby. She's yeah. a queen. She's for queen. <laughs> uh, she, she, she touched you on know, a lot of like... crack theme. Um, Mama, you always so, be a crack. Yo, black Stupid queen. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, she, read, she stated a lot of the points that I think all of us can go over like bro it's sometimes it's hard building connections with women because it's like there's so many past and present things that they have to work on that they don't ever address when it comes to dating i feel like we suffer in thinking these actions are normal i feel like women try to be almost the niggas in the sense. i hate that i hate when, i hate when other people say it but they try to be the niggas in the sense of the relationship of the financial aspect of just like the overall connection and i feel like they don't you know sometimes they don't put in work 
they don't put in the groundwork that it needs to take to make a man happy or make their partner happy. Because let's look, at, let's say, I'm not gonna make the conversation about oh, men aren't happy and blah 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 blah. But like, see, a lot of y'all women need to do work. A lot of y'all women need to get do actual work about yourselves because shit, y'all out here dating and fucking niggas lives up because y'all that y'all never did the groundwork on yourself. And y'all niggas are too aggressive. Y'all niggas are too masculine. Y'all niggas are too demanding. And it's weird. It's really weird. And I know niggas nowadays, shit, there's a lot of single niggas, but there's a lot of single niggas out here. And I know the number is rising for a reason because shit, a lot of the times, shit, it's difficult for people to deal with. It's, you're not getting a queen and you're not getting a good, decent person every single time. It's sorry, bad enough. You got to do shit through apps. Like, it's just weird. It's very rare that I agree with someone 100%, but. In this case, I do. I agree with everything she said in that video. I've kind of been preaching that for a while. So, yeah, man, a lot of women, they don't understand reciprocity. They don't understand what it means to appreciate a man. All they know how to do is open their legs at the end of the day. And a lot of men are growing up. They're they're getting old. Like, that shit is not appeasing people no more. Like, everybody, every woman has pussy. Like, y'all keep thinking that y'all pussy is the best. Okay. The next yeah. woman thinks the same thing. And the difference between you and her is that she's going to do the extra things for her man. And that's what yeah. separates y'all. That's what separates the women from the wives. The wives are the ones that's going to do everything. <laughs> She's the man and shit. So, hey, you know, we've been having this conversation for a while. Like I said, I agree with what she's been saying. But, you know, it just depends on what the women going to do. The women got to step up. They ain't going to <laughs> They they, they can, they're not ever gonna get to the point of being uh, holding themselves accountable. Honestly, bro, it take a real nigga to tell your bitch like, "Hey, bro, you're not putting in the work." Because like, bro, I yeah. know niggas be scared to lose their spot and lose their position because like, sometimes being with a woman, it just feels like you can't say the wrong thing at all times. But bro, you gotta tell your girl, your girl, you bitch, you ain't doing it. You ain't, you ain't, you ain't loving me and, do, and appreciating me the right way on this like, very bro, platform. Like, you come talking on, to somebody man. else, and I told her, I'm like. The only time y'all do something is for a nigga birthday or for Christmas. Nah. Let me ask you this. Oh, God. Let me ask you this. Is there ever a moment you'll go out your way to do something first for the guy? To show your appreciation and how much you like him? If I've been with him for a minute? Yeah. No. No. You just started talking to him. I actually did that one time. One time, though. You're not doing it majority of the time. Okay, what well, makes you think I've been in a whole bunch of different relationships? I'm not saying all that. I'm just saying you don't. So do one that. time is a lot. For me, it's a lot. Okay. I haven't been in that many relationships. So one time, this guy he bought me my dog, and I took mm-hmm. him out for his birthday. And I oh my him. god, are you fucking kidding me right now? I I Damn. I can he vouch on this story. First, what? I can he vouch on this story first. Did he not? Okay, but. This is what I'm talking about, America. Listen, America. <laughs> oh, Y'all play the camera crazy. back. You will know what I'm talking about. I'm going to say this. I just don't feel like that's a fair argument because I just feel like women so much, we're just really taught that we're going to get our heart broke. We're going to get our heart broke. It is what it is. I'm not saying that men aren't taught the same thing, but men are kind of taught that you get to choose what you want to do. You hmm. and women are taught you have to wait to be chosen. Right. You know what I mean? So yeah. in that sense, it's just like you're all like my mom, my grandma, don't do too much first. See how he is. Mm-hmm. That's just that's just ingrained in us. So it's not fair to be like, have you done anything for a man first? Because it's like, no, I don't even know if I'm I don't even know if I'm his first choice. But so I feel I, like I sometimes even after y'all figure out that hey, this is the guy that I like, this is who I want to be it's with, y'all that. still don't even do nothing. Y'all still don't even go out your way to show this man any appreciation. Y'all wait till a birthday or y'all wait till Christmas. Like um, is it? these yeah. are facts. Yo, like I, I just feel like I'm America. Look. Shut up. Y'all <laughs> This is exactly what we're talking about, man. This is exactly what we're talking about. Yeah, she said it, man. So queen, the queen, the queens that, that, that step up and they know it, they they know what's up. But the ones who don't, which is a lot of y'all, hey, bro, y'all don't put the work in, bro. Y'all wonder why y'all are single until y'all thirties and shit. 
If y'all wonder why y'all woman and you dating. don't want to spend money, you should not be dating. Man. And you wonder why y'all serial daters because y'all can't ever find mm. some. He said serial it's daters. Always, <laughs> it's always the nigga fault, the nigga fault, the nigga fault, the nigga fault. It's like, damn, but you to be with 20, almost 30 niggas. Like, God damn, who, who is it them fault or your fault? Like, God mm. damn. Like, I get, and I get yeah. it. Niggas got work too. I get it. But women, y'all never put in work ever. Y'all don't hold no accountable. Y'all feel like y'all pussy is the best pussy. And Brandon, that's a good way to think, but like, fuck, bro. That's it. Facts. That can't be it. Can't be it. All right, let's get into this last one, though. Why are good guys viewed as boring? (laughs) Why they boring, y'all? I'm going to let y'all play. Go ahead, Rob. Why are are good guys viewed as boring? Yeah. Because they want them people in them streets. They 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 want the drama. They like that, bro. They like that culture of the drama. But as mm. you can see, the culture of the drama is what we got going on today. R.I.P. to one of our fallen amigos. Y'all y'all, this is the type of stuff y'all want. That's fine. Go through that. How how feel bad? Feel all sad because your your man ain't here no more. Because because you want you want somebody who who hard and. They just not they just, not doing the right thing. Guy. They just want a certain mm. type of estate, and I feel like yeah. you'll never have that in a complete man that's not gonna put you at risk. And that's not to say every woman don't like want that, but it's like, bro, they can like, like ask a woman like who the niggas that she think attractive. Like really, just like ask a woman like who like bro. I hear that work every damn day. I hear it just like it's the a man can choose any many different types of women but a woman only wanted to date maybe two different types of men Facts. they never want to date these niggas on the spectrum they never want to date the different types of men because we all come in different varieties and types mm-hmm. and we, we're so we're so much more than what y'all niggas want we're so much more than the hood nigga the street nigga the dope dealer the rapper the nigga who got a scammer with the money because bro i'm calling all y'all bitches out because that, that's really what it is and y'all only like a certain type of nigga who got motion and, I, and i'm gonna keep using the word motion because that's all y'all bitches care about yeah, dude. So the nigga who worked in his regular ass job is kind of like I'm born because it's like I this is what I'm doing. Mm-hmm. Like I'm Back, not not bro. understand. I understand you can like what you like. I understand that, but bro, every nigga you like in life is not gonna be that. Everybody's That's what not I gonna said, be that. bro. It's Everybody's a minority of niggas. Is fucking a majority of the women. They, oh no, shit, listen, bro. Listen, bro. Mm, yeah. the, the, and they they all look the same. If you're not above like six three, dark skin, well, what like got dreads, got this, got that, got trust me. We 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 know like that's just what it is, but bro, that's my boy. That's so that's so that's so small. That's so small minded. I feel like you're not giving realistic expectations for your life, and you want to. That's what homegirl said. Red flag. Unrealistic financial like, expectations. Unreal, unrealistic unreal, expectations, like, expectations. Just bro. unrealistic dating views due to social media, and. All this is like, yo, what do you want from? And then think about this: what do you want if I'm, I'm us, that like, stop. What do you want from for, yourself? For being, God bro, damn it, being, If you mm. that one percent of niggas, bro, I'm not gonna lie to you. I ain't gonna want no bitch. I ain't gonna like, bro, I be fucking everybody's bitch. I be fucking all the bitches because it's like at that point, I know I'm the one percent. I know I get bitches. I know that, bro. It don't matter what the fuck going on. It's always gonna be somebody like, come on, bro. What are you talking about? Y'all wanna marry these niggas though? Y'all wanna, ma- y'all wanna marry yeah. like real, real? And I understand. Listen, and I'm gonna say one time. I don't understand. I get it. Whatever, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Well, bro, you're just setting unrealistic standards, bitch. You a basic bitch who, who work at McDonald's and you think you could get sh- like, like a nigga who in the lead, bro. Like, I get it. <laughs> bitch, I am speaking you, vicariously like, through Marlon right now. Bitch, I am speaking you vicariously at, through Marlon. Walmart, ho. I almost broke up with my husband because I thought he was boring. Turns out he was just healthy and sane. You see, when I was dating my husband, I realized how joyful he was, how active he was, how motivated, career, goal-driven, money saver, never wanted any problems. And every time we became misaligned, he would just want to sit down and talk about it calmly, hear each other out, forgive each other if necessary, and just move on and continue growing. And I misinterpreted this as him not fighting for my love. You see, I grew up in a very chaotic type of love, the novella type, where everybody's slamming doors, yelling at each other, you don't talk to each other for days. and so. I thought that that was love. I thought that that was passion. And what I want to remind you of is to look back at the type of love that you grew up around and ask yourself if you were just addicted to a chaotic, dramatic type of love and realize that that's not the type of love that you need now in your relationship, that you need now to grow. God doesn't want that for you. You understand? 
look at that for a second and ask yourself, how do you want to love? How do you want to be loved? Because I'll tell you one thing, <laughs> it's not the novella type of love. That's a queen right now. I mean, and like I said, and even then, that thought took her a while to have, bro. These women never never get to these thoughts till later. They really do be thinking that nigga tripping, that nigga doing this, that nigga doing that. And I understand in certain scenarios how these thoughts could be applicable, but bro, men need understanding. Men need to be seen and, uh, and heard and understood. And that nigga probably was, in her story was the most unproblematic nigga. He was just trying to figure this shit out. And it's kind of like, and she was able to twist that into something else. You guys know how crazy that sound? I did everything right, though. We gonna argue, we gonna talk the shit out, we gonna, you know what I'm saying? And she twisted that shit. That's crazy, bro. It's the That's culture, crazy. man. It's the culture. It's the culture, bro. Like the culture doing that shit to these women. Bro. Mentally sane, bro. She was so surprised bro. that he was sane. Bro, this is, right. this is a black. This is a black. Yo, that's this crazy, black, bro. That's sad as hell, so, bro. Come on, this is the like this shit is crazy out here, dog. Like shit is crazy, bro. I mean, no damn sense, bro. The culture is making women think that stability is boring. Yeah, that's crazy. It's making women that's think that peace is boring. Is? That's how wild it is. That like shit stability, crazy. just having, just being able to to have calm in your life, and you ain't got to worry about shit. The shit that we all for destiny aiming for, but it's black love and this love agenda, and it's like, bro, even that's boring. That's it. Like what? Be like, oh, I want a nigga that's gonna put me in my place. Bro, I want Why? a nigga that's gonna argue with me. I want a nigga Why? that's gonna fight for me. Why? <laughs> Y'all be sounding bro? so dumb, bro. Nah, bro. Bro, why? bro, and they be making shows out of this shit. I think be stressing oh. these niggas out. Bro, I bro. think when I ended one relationship, I think the homegirl wanted me to really come back and like go back through these full motions and be hitting her up after I end everything and these things, man. I was like, bro, I'm not doing none of that. I'm gonna, we ended things. This is how we're gonna leave it at this. I'm not about to be feeding back into your same cycle because that's how your ex was. You know what I mean? I'm not doing that. I'm good. I had a girl, bro. I'm chilling, bro. She tried me on that shit, trying to like start shit because that's yeah. what she used to. I said, no, not around these parts. <laughs> <laughs> we're not doing that around here. You're not gonna yeah, just nah. start arguments and create these fake ass situations so you could feel good about your ego and you could feel like I'm fighting for your love. Nah, we're not doing that. Oh, we it's going to be calm around here. Like we're going to, we're going to sit down. We're going to talk about this shit. We're not about to be yelling at each other. I'm not doing that shit. That shit. Yeah. Fuck out of here. <laughs> but yeah, man, it's crazy. These man. women boy. Yeah, man. It's real. It's real. It's real. It's real. It's real man. But, but you but know, yeah, we, we just we just want we just want a crumb, just want a little pussy. Well, I, don't, I, don't, I don't want no crumbs. <laughs> nah. crumb. I don't want no crumbs, man. I just want a little piece. God we damn, want plate, y'all make we it want so hard. We want the plate, bro. We want no crumbs. Yeah, gonna fill us out here. Uh, God of War is about to come out. Um, I might disappear for like three, four days, bro. I'm not gonna <laughs> hold you. Um, bro, I dropped two hundred dollars on that goddamn collector's edition. Oh, I'm damn. definitely oh, wow. Bro, I I I'm a, I'm a madman right now, bro. Money, I got man. the goddamn. Isn't that crazy? I got the old I got the old game sitting right here, bro. I was like, it's just he's, so beautiful. He's a fan. <laughs> got the, I had to, I had to put the. You see, we paid off. It's ready here, bro. For the next. Come one. here, boy. I, like, I know where it is. Good boy. <laughs> 4K, 120 frames per second. We watching it. I'm going, Damn, man, boy. Frames. I'm trying. That's shit at that point. <laughs> 120 frames, bro. We we eating good, eating good. Unlike Gotham Knights, oh, such a disappointing game. Mm. Just a dis a disappointing, bro. You, if just in random gaming news before we get out of here, Gotham Knights is a game Batman, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right, Batman game. Um, they stopped it from coming out on. PS4 and like Xbox One. They were like, nah, it's a next gen game only. Then they gave us the game. The game only runs 30 frames per second. Oh, fuck out of here. <laughs> Bro, but you want me to drop $70 for the PS5 version and it still only runs 30 frames per second. That's Just, crazy, shit running, bro. Yo, shit running like a like a mobile game, bro. <laughs> like, stop. That's Hell like, nah. It's very disappointing, bro. Like, if you played the Arkham games, people, you, if you know, you know. I know. Mm. You know, you know, those things were those things are goaded. This junk is garbage. 
I will not be buying this game. <laughs> but God of War is what I'm locked in on. It's going to be crazy. Hey, before so, we get out of here, bro, I just want to tell people I'm the new Dr. Sevy, bro. Hey, you know, yo. I had a sore throat. <laughs> man, I just cured myself for another <laughs> day, bro. Seven, bro. So, hey, get at me if you need some remedies, bro. I'm, science, baby. Science. Get your ass out here. Oh, man. <laughs> man, yeah, man, that's here, episode y'all. 93. Make sure y'all yes, like, sir. subscribe. Yeah, and yeah. Get out of here. We didn't even give no intro, bro. We just giving y'all outro today. We need to get back right. to the top, yeah. bro. RIP yeah. to one of our amigos, man. Yeah, Follow man. RIP. RIP, take off, dog. Yeah. Take off. Spread hate. Spread hate, y'all. Spread hate. Wow. Spread oh, hate. right. No. Spread <laughs> no, no, hate. Spread hate. Peace, love, and positivity, please. Yeah, we out, y'all. y'all. Real Matic Podcast.